many people in the modern world are yearning for a sense of spirit, but also to connect to their ancestors and have a sense of where have we come from as a people, how can we connect to our roots, are there some hidden gems in our cultural heritage that maybe we've forgotten about? And an answer to that question really is the background for where this course has come from, because ancient Greek spirituality, ancient Greek religion, ancient Greek mysticism is really one of those, I feel, those hidden gems that is kind of woven into the fabric of our dress but we've kind of forgotten is there. You know, I remember when I was studying philosophy nearly 20 years ago now at university and we were studying the, the pre-Socratic, so-called pre-Socratic uh, philosophers, you'd hear about these figures like Parmenides and Empedocles and Zeno and you'd hear these mysterious sayings and these, these wisdom teachings but they were soon almost kind of just forgotten about, you move on, you move on with the course, but I had a sense of, hang on, I want to stay with those, I want to stay with those guys, I want to know more about what they had to say about life, about reality, what kind of practices did they have, who were they? And these are the things that we're exploring in the, this course. Many of them, you could see, they practiced as healers, and Pedicles was a herbalist healer. Parmenides, in many ways, follows the archetype of the shaman going on this spirit journey to the underworld and revealing, having the initiation from the goddess, where he was, where he, a through revelation, he revealed this incredible poem he brought back to humanity that's often called On Nature or On Nature of Being of Life. So we're going to go into so much in this course. We've got, we're going to go into how things were done in the sanctuaries, how things were done in terms of ancient Greek dream healing as well with some of the great deities like Sclepius. We're going to we're gonna practice some ritual. We're going to go into some of the mystery traditions connected to Eleusius, Persephone, Demeter. And it's going to be an incredible journey. And I know that many of you are yearning for more ritual in your life, yearning for more ceremony, and also just yearning to awaken yourself. So there's so much in this course. We've got practices to do with divination, how you can be more in contact with spirit and have more guidance in your life. It's a mixture very much between kind of the words, lectures, me talking about things, but also a lot of practices, a lot of experiential things whereby you can help to awaken yourself and have that sense of what I call soul remembering. It's been an important word for me for a long time. Even about 15 years ago, I named my website after it and still have that, soulremember.com. Being inspired by this ancient word of anamnesis, the sense that we awaken knowledge, not just through learning things externally, but through remembering, soul remembering. Ancient Greek culture has a sense of that because ancient Greek culture very much informed and has been with us in the whole of the modern Western world. Some of you will be familiar with the deities, the Zeus, the uh, Athena, the other uh, deities, and the myths and the dramas. It's a part of our culture, but there are aspects of it that are so wonderful that we've forgotten about. So that's what we're going to go into in this course, and I very much hope that you feel inspired to join me. You know, I've got many courses on platforms like Udemy. We've got over 12,000 students. We've got people from over 130 countries uh, in the world. So come with us if you feel inspired. Let's go and explore more this incredible, this incredible world of ancient Greek spirituality and practice with some of their great shaman healers.